Welcome back to my channel, Divine Timeless Cosmic Tarot. If this is your first time coming across the platform, welcome, come on in. Nine times out of ten, Spirit guided you here for a reason. There is a 99.9% .9 chance that there's something here that you need to know. Listen, whatever that something is, you already know that you know. You just needed additional information and or clarification. Come on in, take what resonates and leave the rest for somebody else to take. If you are returning back to this platform, you already know what it is. You are my beautiful, amazing Soul Tribe family, and I love you so very much. I really, really do. From here to the moon and back and even beyond that, I love you. I really do. Listen. Soul Tribe. love and light come on in listen i heard as i was meditating sun gazing make the spiritual community great again there's a lot of riff raff going on uh not within the divine spiritual community as it relates to the divine collective for those of us that understand what it is that we're doing collectively by way of our individual bodies of work and how that collaboration connects to other people who are also doing a divine body of work uh, and how the two are connected, right? Okay, but people outside of the community, okay? People that are doing beautiful work, okay? In my opinion, seem to be really offended by us. I noticed that there's been a lot of videos, you know, mocking spirituality, tarot card readers, uh, people with gifts, okay? That part I actually find really, really funny. And I've been uh, just kind of keeping my eyes and my ears open to the spiritual streets as I do all the time, being mindful of what energies are running rampant, right? And so somebody did a video and this guy was like, the spiritual community is absolutely, you know, destroying our people. We don't need the spiritual community. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's really broad. That's a very general statement. There's so much that the spiritual community involves, right? You got your healers, your Reiki healers, you got your herbologists, you got people that uh, are readers that got great foresight, that are psychic. Uh, we got a lot of things that the spiritual community represents. So to say that as a whole, I honestly... Um, when I heard that, you know what I did energetically, 11.44 on the clock, I immediately went into a state of understanding, trying to see from the eyes of this person, uh, trying to see how is it that they're focused on whatever they're doing spiritually and why are we bothering this person so much? This person was so offended by us, us meaning the high priestess, us meaning the readers, us meaning the people that have the ability to time travel into the Akashic records. Because I'm gonna be honest, y'all, I'm not for everybody. I'm not like every reader. Not that we should compare ourselves to everybody. Everybody does their beautiful body of work in different ways. And this is what makes things very, very beautiful. This is what makes things uh, just kind of coexist on a very beautiful level, right? Needless to say, Let's dive into this body of work and just see what the Most High wants us to know. Holy Spirit, Most High. Ooh, a Scorpio could be significant or something significant about Scorpio season. So yeah, somebody was really going like on a rant. And then somebody in this person's comments was like, yeah, all these fake ass spiritualists, they want to be like you and Rashad. And I thought, Rashad Jamal, right? And I thought, okay, well, if they set the standard, that's a beautiful standard to be set. But why is it that everybody needs to be like anybody else? Why can't we all authentically be like who we are? It's given mind control, right? One thing I will never tell somebody to do is to only listen to me. Take what resonates. Take the meat, baby, and spit out the bones. 
This spiritual community is so broad. And when you have your intuition, when you have your best discernment, you will be guided to people that you will be able to learn something from, teach and or learn. Each one, teach one receive and or get something from nobody can be me nobody can be you but this brother went on a rant for like 72 hours i said okay so there's some deeper seated issues i'm not going to put the brother out on blast and just you know i read his energy i know exactly what's happened to him uh i can see it right that's the beauty about being the high priestess respectfully we tap into energies but we don't always say what it is that we see so let's just see what's going on with the spiritual community. I think this person had a really valid point though, however, is the moral and the point to the story because there are some fake ass readers out here. There's some fake ass spiritualists. There's some fake practitioners that only want to keep you bound in a slave's mentality. If you come across somebody and they're not encouraging you to be a leader, a teacher, a healer and fully step into your divine path, you're not sitting with the master. Real masters create other masters or encourage you to be a master of self, okay? But somebody that's a slave to their own ego is always going to make you a slave to them. You'll always have to keep coming back, patronizing them by way of energy. At some point, you have to go within. At some point, you're going to have to use your own best discernment. Nobody can do that for you. Scammer, hacker, spies, and thieves, okay? So this is the energy that's coming out. Scammers, hackers, spies, and thieves. Somebody could be trying to hack into your energy, hack into your device, spy on you, okay? I just heard spyware, okay? Theft. It's giving energy though, y'all, okay? I'm not getting, getting on a literal sense. I'm getting on a spiritual level, okay? Clarify scammer and Scorpio. What's going on? I feel like Scorpio is significant by way of Scorpionic season. There could be a Scorpio that's significant though. Watching your money, watching your finances. So be mindful, okay? Somebody's trying to tap into your energy, tap into your money. This is where you separate the authentic people from the scammers. So somebody could be trying to tap into your, uh, your phone, okay? Or your device or get some type of information on you. Here's the funny part about all this. You are divinely protected and your assets are not exempt from you. So whatever you're working on, whatever you're gaining, we calling this person into spiritual court. Holy Spirit, beautiful, divine, and sacred masters. I call upon the ancient ones within me. I also call upon the apostolic realms to open up the heavenly realms. I ask that light be shed on this situation. Illuminate what it is that we need to see and thank you by somebody watching your finances, hacker, scammer, spy, and thief. Allow me to tap into all the prayers. Thank you. Something about my throat chakra, something about somebody not wanting me to speak the truth, okay? You could be exposing something, okay? Whether you're having a conversation with somebody else, you could be exposing something. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, all these cards are going the right way. Yeah, you could be exposing something and somebody doesn't want you to tell on them or... Um, expose what it is that they're up to but somebody's trying to steal something from you okay i'm getting energy though i'm getting energy it's very uh it's a covert operation energy clarify scammer hacker spy thief show us this person yeah knight of knight of pentacles okay taurus virgo capricorn energy somebody wants something that belongs to you okay yeah, this is like the fruits of your labor, okay? Something that belongs to you. Again, this could be energy, okay? Six of wands, somebody wants to win at all costs or you're winning. Clarify watching your money, watching your finances. What is that about, Holy Spirit? Somebody's trying to hack into your stuff, so be mindful of that. There's a queen of wands that could be watching your money. Somebody could be a Capricorn, page of pentacles, okay? So somebody's watching your money. But, you know, look at this face on here. I always see that angry bird. It's like they're evil eyeing your money. You see that angry bird? Isn't that funny? Somebody's evil eyeing your success, the fruits of your labor. Who is this queen of wands? Page of pentacles. Who is this person? Okay. Four of swords in the reverse. Somebody's hatred is literally making them sick. Mm-hmm. Somebody could be trying to harvest your energy so that they can become more prosperous. They could want money. 
very ambitious energy is what I'm picking up for this from this person. Okay. Clarify Scorpio. Who's a Scorpio? Yeah, silent competition. Five of Wands. Big Leo energy. Somebody could be a Leo. Okay. Capricorn energy. They care about money, money, money. I'm just hearing somebody like somebody like loves money. Oh, I just need money. So they want your gifts. Okay. Clarify Scorpio. Silent competition. Yeah, you're coming up as a temperance energy. Somebody's birthday could be in November. You're coming up as an earth angel. You could have Sagittarius and or Scorpio in your chart very heavy. Hence the fact that you're born in November is what I'm getting. Somebody's sneaky and deceptive though. Clarify watching your money. Who's this queen of wands? Four swords in the rebirth. This person's exhausted. This person's exhausted. The truth. Something's being exposed. Something's coming to the light. Clarity. There's some type of clarity. When somebody's in a state of confusion, you can see clearly that they're confused. Okay? You're not confused. Something about foresight, three of wands, Aries energy, something about you expanding. Something's growing for you. Whatever this is that you're planting, who is this Scorpio? Why is this significant? Page of wands, information. Somebody's trying to get information, okay? So be mindful. They could be trying to get your address. They could be trying to get your driver's license number. Uh, they could be trying to hack into your device. Whatever this is, it's being blocked by the universe, okay? You could have blocked these people with the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Some type of delay, some type of progress. Somebody could be impatient about getting your information. If you're not a Scorpio, okay, then something's happening in Scorpio season. This is what Spirit is telling me. I just heard they're locked out of your account and they're trying to get back in. Who is this person that's locked out of the account? Yeah, two of swords. They're trying to hide something from you. It's a Libra, okay? Two of swords. Somebody does something with money, Libra and energy, making a decision. Somebody's at a stalemate. So if they were hacking into your device or hacking into your email or you're trying to get into your information, somebody's at a stalemate, okay? They're also avoiding making some type of a decision. Clarify this two of swords. What's going on? Yeah, it's a tower. It's a tower, child. Whoever this person is, be this energetically, they're trying to hack into your energy. Literally, they're trying to hack into your finances, your money, your whatever. Child, these people are hitting a stalemate. Show me this queen of uh, wands in the reverse. Who is this person? Queen of swords in the reverse. This is, this is okay, with all due respect, to the dogs that are really bitches. This is a bitch on two legs. This person is cold, spiteful, evil, nasty, materialistic, greedy, hoarding, me, 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 I, 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 okay? This person is losing it. They're making reckless decisions. When I think of the queen of swords in the reverse, clarifying this queen of wands with the four of swords in the reverse, child, somebody is looking crazy. Big Libran energy. Queen of Swords in the reverse. Somebody's going through some type of like mental fog. Okay, they're very vindictive. Yeah, somebody's somebody is moving from a broken heart, not using their head. This person right here is easy to take down. You know why? Because they're impulsive, they're reckless, they're destroying themselves, so they're easy to take down. This is an easy takedown. Whenever you see people like this, low vibrational, and they don't know how to control their emotions. This shit usually backfires so bad, child, it's hard to watch. I can't make the shit up. Capricorn energy, the devil. Materialistic, addictions. Addicted to money, addicted to clout, addicted to attention. Um, I've always been a firm believer on be mindful of people that will do anything to get attention. Anything to get money. Yeah, they just want money. Look at them, four of pentacles. Me, 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 I, I, I. They want it all for themselves. Look at the way that person's holding on to the four of pentacles. This is the kind of person that will watch people starve. Even if they have enough, more than enough, it's never enough. It's an insatiable desire to overindulge. They put value on things, money, and, and, and people. They don't have any, I mean, not people. People, oh, I said people. They could see people as possessions as well. This could be energy, okay? Keep in mind. But this is a hoarder. They could see somebody struggling. They could have more than enough to help them and they'll watch somebody starve. Very insidious, sadistic energy, okay? Queen of Swords in the reverse. Clarify this Queen of Wands, but with the Four of Swords in the reverse, somebody is like restless, tired, exhausted. 
because they're having to, they're trying to harvest energy. They're having to save money. They don't like the fact that things aren't flowing for them. Clarify this person. Who is this person? There's a tower though. Yeah. Page of, uh, page of cups. Clarify page of cups. What's going on here? Child, they having visions of demise. They're having visions of like loss. They're having visions of lack. They're having nightmares. Look at the nine of swords. Somebody's restless. This person could be up all night. Something about their imagining faculty is warped, okay? They're only imagining the worst. I just heard the worst is yet to come, but it's already bad. Child, what is this? Who is this? Clarify, yeah. Six of Cups, some type of past life karma. Big Scorpio energy, yeah, the lovers. This could have something to do with some lover or something. So this Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords in the reverse, okay? Some type of love, attraction, something, whatever. This is a contract from the past. There's lust here. Show me. Show me these people. Yeah, look. Somebody's walking away from this person. So they're impulsively in somebody's energy, impulsively wanting to stop somebody, affect their money. They're watching your finances, trying to stop you from moving forward. Clarify the Scorpio. Yeah, somebody's doing poverty spells. Okay, I feel like this five of pentacles though is you either uh, leaving somebody out in the cold. Clarify the five of pentacles for Scorpio. Yeah, you leaving somebody out in the cold. Ten of swords in the reverse. What is this? Regeneration can only get, okay. So spirit is saying there's a raggedy ass Scorpio here. <laughs> okay, clarify this raggedy ass Scorpio. Let's just see it. Yeah, there's somebody in your family. Ten of cups in the reverse. There's so many people in your energy or attempting to be in your energy and stop and block your finances. It's unsuccessful, honey. Yeah, the inevitable is happening to these people. So you got a you gotta November Scorpio that's in your energy, okay? Or something's happening in Scorpio season. Uh, Five of Pentacles, somebody wanted you to be unstable financially and now it's happening to them. So this Queen of Wands could be the Scorpio? Okay, Spirit, Temperance, November. Yeah, Queen of Wands. They got more Sagittarius in their chart than they do Scorpio, though. But this is real specific. There's a tower moment. Okay? Somebody's an earth angel, though. There's a You could be a Sagittarius in December that has a November Sagittarius going up against them. You could be a Taurus. With this November, I feel like this November Sagittarius, whoever they are, or Scorpio is attacking everybody. I'm going to be honest, energetically. Something about a love situation, somebody walking away from them, obsession over money. This person is going broke. They're in a tower, two of swords. They got to make a decision. Queen of swords in the reverse is reckless as shit, needs to sit their punk ass down. They could literally be exhausted trying to harvest your energy. And they're watching your money and your finances and they're getting really, really mad. Four of Wands, something about your stability. Four of Wands reminds me of a house. Stability, home, peace. Somebody hates how, how peaceful you are. Yeah, the star in the reverse, child. Who in the hell is this that has fallen from grace? The star, self-doubt, lack of faith, insecurity, lack of creativity. Child, hold on, y'all. And the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck, somebody's trying to attack you. Bear with me, just give me one moment, y'all. Okay, y'all, so listen. Whoever this person is, they're reckless. 
Okay, they're attacking you, attacking your finances, your money. Somebody, again, could be trying to hack into your account. Um, but I feel like this is your energetic account. Okay, somebody feels like if they have your energy, they can manifest at will and get whatever it is that they want. Clarify watching your money, finances. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. You have some type of unexpected income, money, or you have a gift to manifest abundance, okay? But what somebody doesn't understand, Miss Queen of Swords in the reverse, nasty ass, raggedy ass, rancid ass, rotten ass heart. You have to have a pure heart chakra. You can't be moving in demonic energy like this. You're in the nine of swords, you're stressed. Somebody's stressed about their finances. How can one be abundant and they're not grateful for what it is that they have? With the four of pentacles, somebody was hoarding what they had. That means that when you had it to give and somebody really needed it, you didn't give. Or maybe you were told to give to somebody and you didn't. So now the universe is saying, oh, you see this as value? Oh, you're afraid that you're going to lose your stability? We're going to give you more of that energy. So somebody's walking in fear of not being stable, not being able to maintain a certain image. This is what the universe is saying. We're going to take it all from you. And they're evil eyeing your money. But really what they're doing is evil eyeing your ability to manifest. Make the spiritual community great again. Let's get into it. Yeah, listen, seven of cups. Okay, seven of cups represents options. Clarify the seven of cups. Yeah, knight of wands in the reverse. Child, somebody's reckless as shit. Somebody could be trying to harvest your energy from sex. If this is a feminine, taken from another feminine, she tries to harvest your energy through sex. Okay. This person could be thinking of you sexually as they manifest to try to siphon your beauty, your, your heart's energy. This is the thing. When these little love spells and these little beauty spells go bad and you try to harvest somebody else's energy that doesn't belong to you, it's almost like this is an energetic signature that will never fit your volatile, you know, vessel. It's vexatious to the world, honey. Look at the energy somebody's in. They're greedy. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Yeah, it's over. And they're doing sex magic over some man. Okay? It's like somebody feels as though if they can get your energy, get your heart chakra, your ability to manifest love, money, abundance, then they can just manifest off of you. Listen, newsflash. The shit don't work like that no more. This is the reason why people think the spiritual community is raggedy. But I want people to focus more on what's good about the spiritual community. Are there some fake ass, phony ass people that are out here looking crazy? Yes, but this is where your discernment is always going to be your best asset. Feel for yourself, think for yourself. Going back to the brother who made the comment about the spiritual community. Yeah, listen. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, something about stability, finances, so you got people that are mad because spiritually you are wealthy. You're manifesting at will, whereas they're still stuck on an old timeline like money is not everything. We don't need money. Listen, you are money. I am money. The world is not set up that way as of yet where we all can live free. Hopefully that is coming. One day I hope we all can just live free. But really, they're putting too much stress on money. Too much stress on it. It's just a tool to be used, equal give and take. If you sow into my ministry, guess what? It's going to come back to you tenfold because I take a portion of that and I sow it into other people. Anybody that knows me, knows me, knows that behind the scenes, y'all, guess what? I hope other people get their platforms up. I really do. I see when they're not monetizing as of yet and I hope that they monetize, you know, I don't need to go into great lengths of what steps have been taken uh, behind the scenes, but I really do support the spiritual community. When your shit is good, when you're a good reader, I'm like, that's what's up. Oh, we need to take you. We need people all over the world. We need to take you from 500 followers to 50,000 followers. Why? Because you have a message. Because you're good. Just build it. The money's going to come. But when you focus on the passion, I promise you. The universe always provides. So whoever this person is, okay, they're saying make the spiritual community great again, it's because of people like this. Somebody could have been subject, subjected, excuse me, to a witch that harvested off their energy. And this is why they're mad. 
So they have a hatred towards the spiritual community. Why? Because of the will of fortune. What else did they think the transfer of power and wealth was going to look like? Okay? Clarify these hackers. It's a tower for that ass. They ain't going nowhere. They can't get into no bank accounts. They can't change your monetization, yo, whatever the hell you got going on. Okay. I just heard TikTok bucks. Okay, Does, do people get paid to be on TikTok? Okay, so I just heard TikTok. So you'd be on TikTok? Somebody was trying to take your TikTok bucks. TikTok money. TikTok Skrilla. Dinero. Mozzarella. A little bit of feria. A whole bunch of feria. Somebody wanted it. It's a tower for these hackers. <coughs> Clarify these hackers. Okay. Yeah, justice. They're going to jail. I can't make this shit up, y'all. CIA, FBI is watching these people. This is why they're hacking their phones to see what it is that they're doing with their money to see what it is that they're doing. They think that they're moving in silence and they're not. Justice is here in the tower. These people are going to jail. Y'all saw it come out here, didn't you? For trying to take people's fortune on a monetary level. But again, I encourage you to see this with spiritual eyes. This is bigger than, than just uh, money. Yeah, high frequency is the new energy. With the four swords in the reverse, somebody's ass is depleted, tired. You know, when you're tired, well, you're not feeling well. You can't get up and go manifest. You won't be in a high vibration. You're sleeping all day. You're not getting no sun. Even if you get in the sun, not everybody can be in the light. A lot of people are like, oh, I'm going into nature. I'm going to get grounded. Child, you get your ass into nature with that dark ass, black ass, demonic ass heart unhealed. And the sun is going to burn the shit out of you from the inside out. I just heard the phoenix rising. Child, what's going on? Clarify Scorpio. The hermit. Okay. Virgo energy, minding your own business. Clarify what's going on with the hermit. Feel like you're just minding your business. Yeah, death, big Scorpio energy. So Spirit is saying this card represents, yes, a sign of somebody who's doing some shit. Okay, collaborating with other weird ass, demonic ass people. Why? Because they're all on a dark ass frequency. So they're attracting one another. It's the way that it's made up. You are what you eat. You are what you speak. What you're eating is what you're taking into your physical, spiritual, mental body. Okay? But Spirit is saying this card is more resonating with Scorpionic season. Death is here. Okay? Death could represent a permanent ending. Death could represent the beginning of a transformation or a permanent transition. Child with the four swords and the reverse though in death, somebody really needs to stay up out of your energy. Page of Wands, somebody could be getting some type of information, notice, test results, something. Clarify the Page of Wands. I feel like somebody's studying you, the way you move. Yeah, and they can't figure it out. Four of Wands. Aries Energy, somebody's trying to study you, the way you move, how you think, what you do. Yeah, Page of Wands is gathering some type of inf information. Page of Wands, Fire Sign Energy, Four of Wands. Aries Energy, okay. Could be a Sagittarius or a Leo. Some people say the Four of Wands is just Aries, but I feel like it's any fire sign, big fire sign energy, okay? Somebody's studying your Akashic records as it relates to a twin flame dynamic. They're trying to figure out how are you abundant? What is it that we're gonna do? How can we get this page of swords? Gathering information, trying to steal information, could be Googling you, trying to do a background check. They're trying to get information about who you are, page of swords, and they're actively watching to see if something's going to work, but with justice, somebody's watching them watch you, okay? <laughs> These people under investigation, child. Watching your money and your finances, okay? Clarify what's going on. Some type of information that somebody is gathering. This is all based on low vibrational energy. I'm telling you, somebody wants your power, your vitality, strength. Clarify what's going on, spirit. Child of five of wands. I can't make it up. Competition. Conflict, jealousy, evil eye, watching you, mad, watching your finances because they're in the five of pentacles. But again, they fail to mention when in spiritual court, what these people fail to mention, how they're getting this bad karma is because their hearts are dark. They're not healed. They're jealous. They're angry. They're mad at other people. They're projecting, deflecting, not taking accountability, not listening to what it is that they need to listen to. And they want to skip over that part. They don't want to take no advice from anybody. You ever talk to somebody and they, and they are talking to you as if they want your advice, but everything that you advise and or, you know, recommend or suggest, right? Because you can't tell nobody what to do. 
You can just suggest it, right? They always got to come back as if, no, 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 no. What I mean is, you're like, no, but what you said was this. Here's what I heard you say. Always reflecting back to them what you heard them say so that you have a clear-cut understanding. Okay, is what you, this is what you said? Okay, before I respond, I need to be clear about what it is that you said so that I can respond accurately, appropriately, in order, and give you a response that I feel, you know, is probably going to make this conversation worth something. Otherwise, it's a waste of my time. Nine times out of ten, somebody that's not taking accountability don't want your advice. They're just time wasters. They don't want your advice. They feel like they know everything. And they keep wondering why things keep going wrong because you're not taking accountability. The last thing that they want to admit is that something's wrong with them. It's giving narcissists, but father wants child conflict. How are you trying to manifest, harvest somebody's energy, steal from them, and you got a blocked heart chakra, you got a blocked mind chakra with the nine of swords, Five of Pentacles, your environment, everything around you is not prospering. Five of Pentacles, by way of abundance, is lacking. Financial hardships and anxiety, psychological issues, can't get over the past, hoarding your money. When you did have a little bit of money, you wanted to keep it and you didn't want to see anybody else prosper. If you had $5 and somebody needed a dollar, you didn't want to give a dollar. How do you feel the universe is going to give you some type of equal give and take? It is 12-12 on the clock. Listen, I'm going to need you to hear me out. The Empress. Everybody want to be the Empress. But baby, do you really want to do the work? My new response to people that try to come for my destiny, my power, my energy, I'll be like, okay, that's fine. Here you go. And then immediately after I come into agreement with the universe that they can have what they believe belongs to them by way of my destiny, my power, my abundance, who I am, a tower comes. And they're like, wait, what? Yeah, you said you wanted this. Congratulations. Welcome to the dark night of the soul. Nine of swords, five of pentacles. You about to lose it all. Oh, but wait, 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 wait. Oh no, what, what do you mean? You want this destiny. You want the will of fortune. Let me show you how I got it. I had to lose everything and everybody. <laughs> Don't mistake confidence for being cocky. Make the spiritual community great again. Listen, clarify the empress. I can't make it up. The devil. Toxicity. Desires. You know, whenever, whenever the devil comes out, Capricorn energy, sometimes it gets a bad rap. Let me tell you what the devil represents. The devil represents desires by way of the earthly realm of which we were told by source of all things, you can have those things. Just seek within first. You can't take none of it with you. Some of these people forget that this is not a permanent existence, that we're simply passing time, co-creating in time, on a timeline. You can't take none of this with you. I'll tell y'all a quick story. You know, I love to tell my stories. <laughs> Ace of Wands, divine intervention. This shit ain't a game. But somebody's got to win and somebody's got to lose. Listen, somebody's going through your dark night of the soul. They wanted all of what you had. They didn't want their life. They didn't want to do the work. They wanted what you had so bad that the universe says, okay, here, damn, here. You begging and crying so much. Here you go. Now they're in the nine of five of pentacles about to lose it all. But, but, but you said I was going to have the ten of pentacles in love and then, okay, yeah, okay. Here's what it took to get it. Congratulations. Now you get to be a reflection of me. Which version? Which, which version? Which version? Thank you, Spirit. 3355 on the clock. Which version of that that is? So says the universe. It's totally up to your energy and what you decide to carry. Okay? We all can be great. But you got to make a conscious decision. And somebody didn't want to walk the walk in their own path. And now they're begging to have their life back. Somebody thought you didn't have to go anything to get this. Somebody thought you had a, a beauty privilege, you know, a pretty privilege, a handsome privilege. And the reason why you're getting everything is because you're beautiful, right? They didn't realize, yeah, it's the beauty in my heart. It's the beauty in my soul. It's the beauty within me, the beauty within my mind, my creativity, my authenticity that cannot be duplicated because it's forever changing. So just when somebody decided to take notes and think they figured you out, it's a hill to the no. 
The notes you're taking are outdated. That version of me has an expiration date on that. Enjoy being that version of me at that dark night of the soul. Somebody's mad because they got to start over. They're about to lose everything trying to play in your energy. When you get to the point where you got to lose everything, that means that the red flags were there. You were told to stop doing something. And so the universe is saying, okay, so shall it be. This is when they say, oh, they're doing witchcraft on me. No, boo, this is where you got to be in order to get what it is that you want. Or do you not want it? Or do you not understand what it is that you want? Now your desires have to meet your jealousy. Now your desires have to meet your insidious behavior. Now your desires have to meet your heart being weighed on the scale. Who are you really? Well, who am I? I'm going back into my shadows and I'm gonna figure out who I am. Will you do that? Okay, you'll realize that you've been the villain on all timelines, okay? But one thing you cannot do is you cannot get to this level without having to have a conversation with the devil. Oh, cinnamon, where you gonna run to? Cinnamon, where you gonna run to? Cinnamon, where you gonna run? on judgment day ran to the devil baby the devil is waiting you better make an appointment or just show up the devil's always home at least he's going to and fro at least she's going to and fro looking for whom she can devour you better make that appointment with the devil and face your demons somebody thought they was going to be able to cut the line you remember when you were in school you'd be like they cut <laughs> they cut. Why they cut the line? Somebody tried to cut the line. Okay. Stay your punk ass up there. Okay. Soon as you get to the top of the line or the head of the line and you thought you was jumping somebody's timeline, guess what? The table's turned. So that puts you in the back. Okay. Somebody missed that. Do the math. Calculate it. Listen. Watching your money. The sun. I can't make this up. Raw energy. Sun energy. The great I am. Yeah, joy, happiness. This is the matters of the heart. Sun is Leo energy. The heart. Somebody wanted your joy, your prosperity, your energy. Yeah, because they felt like they would be able to manifest. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Now they're finding that there's a little bit more that goes into that. They absolutely can't just steal your energy. Yeah, I can't make it up. Three of Wands, Foresight. Moving forward. Aries energy. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody is trying to work really, really hard before they have to lose something. Three of Wands is, is what's to come. It's foresight. It's the future. Moving forward. Somebody feels as though they're always going to have to work. What a tangled web you've weaved when first you have seeked to deceive. Somebody's very deceitful. Somebody's a black widow energy. Eight of Pentacles, look at that web. Somebody's working their ass off to no avail, right? So somebody could be pissed off because maybe you get in the Ten of Pentacles, you know, looks real easy. It's 12, 19 on the clock. Somebody's birthday could be September 21st or somebody's birthday could be December 19th to a source. They're having to make a decision about their work situation. Somebody knows that hard times are coming. So they're kind of working hard. Eight of Pentacles, but exhausted. With the four of uh with the four of swords in the reverse, three of wands, they know that hardships are coming, towers are coming. Somebody's bracing themselves. With page of cups and the nine of swords, they could be getting nightmares of what's to happen. Yeah. King of Pentacles. Somebody's taking their power back, their abundance, their energy. Somebody's trying to beat you to the punch. Three of swords. Only to find themselves heartbroken and separated from your abundance. I can't make it up. Three of Swords, Libra and Energy. Separation, walking away. Eight of Swords. Yeah, somebody's bound to something. Somebody was trying to bind somebody to them, their abundance. Yeah. So once somebody realized they couldn't hack into your energy, hack into your account, um, I'm getting account by way of Akashic Records, uh, by way of energetic field. Eight of Swords, they wanted to bind themselves to that to try to feed off of you. Very vampiristic. Okay. King of Cups Energy, they're coming to the realization that they have to have a decent heart chakra. If somebody tries to tap into your energy at this time, it could possibly make them sick. They could possibly die. I'm going to be honest, y'all. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Hold on, y'all. Absolutely. Why do I feel like I got to move? 
Absolutely not. Thank you, spirit. The star. Aquarius energy. You're a healer. Okay. You're healing. You're shining really brightly. Eight of swords binding themselves to the king of cups. It's not easy to bind yourselves to the king of cups. You know why? Because the king of cups is emotionally intelligent. Emotionally stable. You can't fake that energetic signature. You can't steal it. You have to do the work. Forgiveness, temperance, balance, brotherly kindness. Knowing that there's a time for certain things. That everything has its proper order place. There's a time for peace and baby, there's a time of war for what it is that you want. Because some people just don't give up. I feel like you beat the shit off these people without thinking. Every time you blink, somebody's ass is getting that ass waxed. Why? Because judgment is here. I can't make this shit up. I'll never tell you a lie. Make the spiritual community great again. Somebody doesn't like the fact that we're telling the truth. Something that they're doing and saying to people is not resonating uh, anymore. They're on an old timeline and they're too embarrassed to tell you. Whoever the guy was that said, you know, the spiritual community is not good for people or something like that. It was such a broad and general uh, statement that it only revealed somebody's ignorance, which also connects to pain, abandonment within that person is what I saw. It's such a general comment. That's like me saying, all women are stupid. Like, wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> I remember I used to meet men and they'd be like, yeah, y'all women. I'm like, y'all is a contraction for you all. Like, don't put me in a category with nobody. I'm not like anybody else. And apparently you've come up with this cookie cutter idea of what you think all women are. 12.22 on the clock, confirmation, listen, okay? And if you're treating everybody like you uh, you know, in this general way, then that's even more dangerous. No two people are the same. Although we have similarities, the beautiful thing about the creator is that the creator never duplicates what it is that he, she makes. Mother, father, thank you. My Abba, my mother, my father, mother nature, father time. Okay. We've already co-created timelines that have never existed. This is why I keep going back into the timelines at some point has to stop. Oh, I got to know who I am. Listen, we didn't already figure that out. How long you plan on staying on that timeline? They stole this from us and they did this. Okay, so now what? We on a whole nother timeline, boo. The world is moving forward. And guess what? It's all colors, all races, all religions, all spiritualities. So you keep going back on that timeline as long as you need to. But most of the timelines that you think that you're going to revisit have been eliminated. Why? Because we've co-created a whole new world. Now, this does not negate the fact that, yes, you need to go into the dark night of the soul. Do that shit one good time and bring your ass to current. I'm not going to keep going back into the dark night of the soul with you once we figure it out. Not as a teacher, not as a leader. I don't want to keep guiding you through trauma that you can't do nothing with. The biggest illusion is that you believe that you're correcting yourself. Are you a slave or are you a master? Right? Okay. You got spiritual teachers, but if that spiritual teacher is not, le is not leading you to being a spiritual leader, then they're isolating you to their opinion of how they see things. And you're a slave to their ideologies, their philosophies, their ideas. There is no way that I could have made it to this point without having to take meat and leave the bones on a whole bunch of levels, y'all. I had so many doggone teachers. Shall I had so many teachers. Before I got to this point, I am eternally grateful for all the ones that betrayed me. They taught me the best lesson. For all the shamans, the babalaos, I mean, high-ranked people, you know? Some of those situations, child, whoo. It wasn't the people that were able to take me out. My ancestors all almost took me out. <laughs> like, girl, if you don't wake up, you a whole chief. I'm like, chief? I don't want to be a chief. That's too much responsibility. Oh, my God. <laughs> They're like, okay, no problem. Whoop. They hit me with the whip. My ancestors took me back to the beginning. Groundhog's Day. I had to keep reliving the same cycle over and over and over and over and over until I was like, oh my God, get me off this merry-go-round of karma. Okay, I've lived this enough. I don't want to think about this. I don't want to go back there. 
They're like, okay, well, who are you now? You're going to have to reinvent yourself. I'm like, oh my God, based on what I've been through? Okay, come through. Somebody got that and somebody didn't. Somebody's going to go back to the same old teacher that they've been getting something from and that's the only person they listen to. It's the worst thing that you can do is isolate yourself by way of where you get your knowledge. If you seek, you will find. Seek every dog on where. There's teachers that I had in the beginning that I don't need anymore, but I have a lot of respect for them. I still check up on them from time to time and they're still doing a great body of work, bringing people through the dark night of the soul. I've watched them go through their own transformations. Yeah. But you got some people that's just like, oh, nope, I only listen to this person. Yeah, okay. Let's well, sound like that person got your mind. So you wait on that person to send you a word? You wait on that person to help you discern? What happens when your higher self gets an attitude because now you're becoming a slave and you're supposed to be a master in this bitch. Okay, you need to master yourself. I'm gonna need you to hold yourself accountable. So you know what, y'all? Let me be honest. That whole conversation, that was really for me. I was talking to myself. <laughs> Take what resonates. And leave the rest. This does conclude spiritual court. Uh, the platform is going to be changing. It's going to get a lot more interesting. I can't play the music anymore, y'all, because somebody was an asshole and reported me. They've been trying to kind of shadow ban me, giving me bad reviews. So I got a group of haters that sit, consistently sit online all day. Um, I'm grateful for that. You know why? Because I feel like when you're popping, you got haters. I'm like, I got haters out there? What are they, what are they doing? Oh my God, that's what I said. Because I noticed that some things happen with my numbers and then just some other weird stuff. So I'm like, okay, spirit. And also, this is also a testament to what it is Source told me when I first came out into the public eye. This is about me attracting the right people. So I really, I can see the numbers fluctuating, but I care more about my people, okay? If I talk to two people that's really about this spiritual work out of 50,000, then damn it, I'm doing a good job. I can rest at night like, oh, I got two people that's on the same page as me energetically, mentally, and spiritually. I love y'all. Join me on the other platform. I'm going to be creating a group there, y'all. It's going to get a little bit different. Healing Lives with Positivity 24-7, 365. 365 and 24 7 where we obsessively compulsively deliberately we just focus on all things positive because we can and we know that focusing in on positive things and great numbers really does change the world like honestly it shifts a whole bunch of stuff that needs to be shifted and shaped up out of this thing so listen i love y'all so very much drop a heart down below super thanks for the super chat super thanks super love and i will see you as above and so below. I'll see you soon. Peace be with you.